Welcome back everyone to Holy Roller Guitars. Thank you for joining me today. Today we have this 2006 American Standard HSS Stratocaster. It is the 60th diamond anniversary for Fender in a special color of Sienna Sunburst. I really love the color. Uh, just to give you a brief overview, I do have some paperwork here. And yesterday when I um, did a demo of this guitar, and a little review. I did say that I thought it was $50 for the premium. It's actually $150 for the premium of this guitar when it was made. So I have a paperwork here that indicates this. All right. So right here where it says 747, uh, star star Sienna Sunburst at $150 for special wood requirements. So I just wanted to verify that with y'all real quick. So, to go over specs, uh, that's just on paper. A couple of key points. Uh, so you have your Sienna Sunburst. Your neck is a modern C-shaped with a satin uh, polyurethane. Uh, fret, uh, fingerboard, rosewood, 22 medium jumbo frets. Scale length, 25.5, 6, 4, 8 millimeters. Uh, nut width of 1.6875, 43 millimeters. You have your uh, machine heads are Fender Schaller Deluxe Staggered. You have your American Two Point Synchronized Tremolo. You have a three ply pickguard, and then you have your two pickups. It is a two custom staggered Tex Mex single coils in the neck in the middle. You have one Fender Diamondback humbucker in the bridge, and then for your five way blade switch, it is a two position push push. S1 switch. So if you want to pause the video you can. I'm going to go over the paperwork here where you can see all of the positioning with the S1 switching up and the S1 switching down. Let me tell you, so with the S1 switching up you have your humbucker here in the first position and then in the second position you have the front of the humbucker with the middle pickup. Third position you have the middle pickup uh, fourth position you have the middle and neck pickup. Fifth position you have the neck. With the S1 switching engaged, and you can see there that it's down, you have your full humbucker. You have a full humbucker and the middle pickup. In the third position you have a full humbucker and the middle pickup and neck pickup in series. So it's like having a humbucker here, but they're kind of, you know, split apart here and your full humbucker. In your fourth position, you have the front of the humbucker with your middle and neck pickup in series. And in the fifth position, you have your middle and neck position in series. So it's like having a humbucker. It has a bassier tone. So I'm sure you can hear that in the video that I posted yesterday. There is that. And then let's see if there's any other information here that you need to know. I did say yesterday. That the fingerboard feels rolled, so it is a rolled fingerboard edge. Um, yeah, just wanted to share with y'all some information. Starting from here, you have your two-point tremolo, stainless steel saddles, your diamond back, Tex-Mex pickups, S1 switching. You have your rosewood, 22 frets, and then your headstock with the staggered tuners on there. And then your American string tree. So let's get started. I'm going to get you the nut whip at the at the nut, at the 7th fret, 12th fret, and 17th fret. I will get you the string height at the 12th fret, and then your pickup heights. I'll share that with y'all, uh, because I did adjust the bridge to have a more better transitioning between all the pickups. So it still is hot, so whenever you go to the bridge, it still is hot, but just wanted to share that with y'all. And then, we will loosen the strings, I'll show you the pickups and the controls and then we'll go here and get your first fret neck depth and your 12th fret neck depth and then we'll get you the shape of the contour of the neck and then I'll show you the tuners and the back of the guitar. Alrighty, starting off here at the nut we have 1.7000 on the 7th we have one point. 985 on the 12th we have 2.05 and on the 13th we have 
and on the 17th we have 2.13. Alright, let's get you the string height on the 12th and then we'll get you the string height on the pickups. Alright, so here on the 12th we have 664 on the E, we have about 4 64 on the A, 4 64 on the D, well, we have about like 3 64 on the G, I have about 4 64 on the B, and 4 64 on the high E. And for the neck pickups, they should be to fender specs, but I might have adjusted them, so let's see. So you press down on the last fret there, and then you get your height of the string, and that is it's about 6 on the base side. And on the high side we have, we have about 5 for the, the treble side. For the middle pickup, and I think this would be way easier with a phone. And we have 6 on the base side. We have about 4 64 on the high side of the middle pickup. So I'm going to have to get fancy with the bridge. So I have my contraption here for the bridge pickup. And our reading is about 7, 64 on the base side. And we actually have it around 8 on the high side. So there you go. So uh, there is the pickup heights and the string height. All right, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to go through all of the readings starting off on your full humbucker. I just want to share this. The bridge pickup is 777. That's pretty cool. One of my favorite numbers out of the Diamondback. And your um, front of the humbucker and the middle pickup we have 2.47. Middle position we have 6.50. Neck and middle position we have 3.30. In the neck position we have 6.55. So with the S1 switching in the second position with the full humbucker and the middle pickup, we have 3.57. And then we have in this position, the third position, we have full humbucker, middle and the neck, and we have 4.89. The fourth position we have the front of the humbucker, the middle and the neck position we have 4.40 and then on the these two pickups in series which would be like a humbucker we have 12.76 so that's very cool. I just wanted to share with everyone the beautiful body. Uh, without the pick card, you can see all the the wood grain on things over here. And uh, just to have a, a review for myself to see what the body looks like. Um, differently from the Made in Mexico, this one you can actually put a humbucker in the neck position, single coil and a humbucker, and they have all the black shielding there and then here is your two point trim loo that's what it looks like there so uh, let's get to the pickups Alrighty, so this is very interesting and as i was trying to look over this before i started recording i think i put tex-mex and then 2006 and i put neck and then middle, and then Tex-Mex 2006. Because I don't believe that was Fender. Fender usually puts stuff in white or black. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I did that or not. And, but for your neck pickup, you'll have your black and white wiring. For your middle pickup, we will have your red and white wiring. And then for the bridge, we have, it looks like an M here, but it's white and red, and then uh, green and black on that side with this is very you know look at that they put copper on there to protect the wiring so that's very awesome it has the fender logo there and then here is your very very interesting 
five-way S1 switching for your blade. Let me get some better light here. Here we go. So this light's about to die, but I'm trying to get y'all the best camera angle and lighting that I can. So here's a very interesting five-way blade switch on this American with the S1 switching. So I wouldn't want to wire that. I would hire that out. And then your S1 switching, here is the top. And then I'm trying to get y'all the side view of this. This is all original. Never miss with the five-way blade switch wiring. Which is here. And then um, here's your tone pot number uh, Here's your tone pot number one. And then tone pot number two. And this is what it looks like from the top. And this is probably a 250k pot for your for your volume. But yeah, that's just some awesome awesome engineering and that's why your deluxe models and other models that has these kind of wirings cost so much. So yeah. There's your, all of your wiring there. So we have 0.861 on your first fret. And on your 12th fret, we have 0.889. For an American standard in 2004, there's your neck uh, depth. And then for your neck profile, so we have that modern C shape. Uh, this is what it looks like on the 1st and the 12th. And that's what it looks like from the side. So very C shape looking. And I just wanted to say, like for the corks of the video, you can see like right here, how it just looks like a C. And then especially on that top one, it looks like a C. Um, so it's funny. So here is the back of the guitar, and I can't tell you for certain, but I believe that this back plate here, I bought it uh, with along with the pick guard. So this is not the original, but it is a three ply. And uh, here is the back where the tremolo is. There's a ground, and there's some, you know. Uh, wax residue still there and then there's these numbers here that I didn't recognize before uh, H I thought that was a four um, So it looks like H S S Zero So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what the zero is for but H S S is um, you know, Telling you what <laughs> What the guitar is gonna be so that's, that's really awesome. Yep, there it is. Here's the back of the neck. And this was here, I explained it in the last video, but that was here when I got the guitar. It's just like a flake off of the, of the wood. I didn't want to repair it, but now I kind of do, but I'm not 100% sure. But here's a close up of that. If any of you are luthiers or really repair guitars, what do y'all think I should do? Please leave it down in the comment section. I will take any advice that you know y'all give for that, and that's a cool to look at the to look at the uh, wood grain. Very awesome. So here is the satin polyurethane neck, which is very uniform. It doesn't have any um, like maple figuring to it. Here are your standard tuners. There is your 60th diamond anniversary. Here is the weight for the guitar at 7.6 ounces. The only way I was able to get that was with the lights off to capture it on the camera. And then one more thing that I wanted to say is I believe I switched these tubings. Let me get the correct name of it and I'll put it down here at the bottom. But I believe I switched these out because I was looking in here. And this is what happens when they get really old. They get really corrosive or they, you know, break up because they're rubber. 
So sometimes you gotta um, replace these. It's just over time. So I will um, show you all the packaging, what to buy here for for these in case this happens to you. Yeah, I believe that's the only other thing that I replaced on here. Or the only thing I have replaced on here, what are these for the pickups? I forget which video I showed you all these in, but this is what they're, what they are. But they're called pickup tubing. And there's the part number. And then this is what they look like. So, um, sometimes if you're, um, you're wondering why, you know, your pickup is not moving either up or down, it's because these are worn out and this is what's going on to them. They just get broken up. And I got very lucky. Uh, somebody in my area, I think like down the street, not like literally down the street, but down the highway, uh, was selling a Diamondback. And I'm guessing that might be a part number. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I do have an extra one. Uh, just in case. <laughs> I want to put it in another guitar or anything happens to this one uh, I do have another one it's just these leads are a bit small for uh, another guitar but if I wanted to put it in here I'm pretty sure that'll be sufficient there you go and if anyone has one of these uh, this would be helpful for y'all um, that the red and the green are for single coil and the black and white are for the four conductor wiring since this one is capped off. Thank you everyone for sticking around to the end. I know it was a bit long of a video. I just had to cover all the electronics and uh, things that I've changed on this guitar. So I hope everyone had a blessed Ash Wednesday yesterday and I hope everyone has a blessed Thursday today and uh, please tune in on Saturday, Straturday, where I will be polishing these frets and putting the F1 oil on the fretboard and announcing a new product from Music Nomad. And on Sunday, please tune in for the Made in Mexico Strat where I'm changing out the volume pot from a 500K to a 250K. So two videos this weekend. And then next week we will start with the Telecasters for all the Telecaster lovers out there. Uh, we'll have uh, two Telecasters for the next uh, two weeks. All right, take care, God bless, Jesus loves you, peace.